Hello my warriors, many of you might be thinking to get very high percentile in JE mains, you need to study a lot of chapters, but that's not true. In fact, I'm going to give you a list of chapters which are very important and very high in weightage, which you must study before your JE mains exam to get as high as 95 percentile. Now, also the time is limited. So what exactly you need to do in the limited time you have? I'm going to give you that strategy as well. So let's get started. Those of you who do not know me, my name is Shreyas. I'm the physics master teacher at Vedantu. I've been teaching for more than a decade now and many of my kids are doing extremely well in different colleges, the top premier colleges in our country. And I'm proud to say that many of my students are top rank holders in J mains as well as J advanced. Now, if you want to get all my handwritten notes as well as the solutions, as well as all the important updates and notifications that I give related to J, make sure you're a part of the Telegram channel group, which the link is there in the description box below. So let's straight away start with the topic wise analysis for all the three subjects, physics, chemistry and maths. Starting with physics first. This is a beautiful pie chart which gives you an overall perspective of which topic is very important and which topic you need to focus on very heavily. So which are those chapters? Let's have a look at it. Modern physics that also includes semiconductors. Heat and thermodynamics that's also there in your chemistry. Even modern physics happens to be a part of it at least in chemistry. Ray optics and wave optics, electrostatics and Gauss law. Like you know, electrostatics is very much related to uh, gravitation, so it helps you over there as well. Rigid body mechanics and system of particles that includes your momentum collisions and rotational mechanics. Capacitors and current electricity. Together, it has very heavy weightage in your JE mains exam. These are the topics that you should do in physics to get about 95 percentile. Going to chemistry, there are definitely certain units which you need to do. There are certain topics which have little bit lesser priority. So if you look at the chapter names, chemical bonding, coordination compounds, the general organic chemistry concepts, the alkyl halides, alcohols and ethers again in organic, mole concepts and ionic equilibrium from physical chemistry and electrochemistry are very very important chapters which will fetch you a lot of marks, lot of marks if you want to score really well in chemistry examination. And remember, it's always important to balance your marks in all the subjects. You might not be able to score really high in one subject. So you need to even it out so that you can lift up your scores. Talking about maths, there are many topics which have very little weightage and many students end up spending a lot of time or too late to realize that, oh, there was just one question or just two questions in the examination. So let's see which are the important ones. The first one is statistics and probability. Then you have sequence and series, trigonometry, very important, limit continuity and differentiability, the straight lines. Then you have 3D geometry, matrices and determinants. These are very important and critical chapters from the maths perspective for J mains. When you do these topics for sure shot, you are bound to get close to 95 percentile. And if you're lucky enough, much more than that. Now let's talk about the strategy, what you need to do exactly in the last few weeks. And if you're loving all of this till now, do not forget to smash the like button and be a part of VN Light, which is a dedicated English medium channel for all the students in our country. So thank you for smashing the like button. So let's dive in straight away to how to exactly prepare. The first thing you need to do is practice a lot of problems. I want you to practice at least 500 problems from each subject in the final few days or final few weeks. Now, when you practice these problems, you just should not worry about the final answer. You should also look at the solution. Try out different approaches, try reverse thinking, try to manipulate, try to eliminate, try to see if there was a very easy shortcut to solve the problem. And when you look, discuss, see the solutions, and then you try to understand the different ways you can solve the problem. That's when you develop that thinking for solving the questions in the final exam. Now, once you practice, it's also important that you test yourself. Now, there are two kinds of tests which you need to give. One is your mock test, which your coaching conducts or you are borrowing some paper or you are only collecting some questions from some question bank. 
Now these questions are generally unseen questions. They are not asked previously before. That's one type. The second type is previous year questions. So you can pick up maybe let's say a 2016 J mains paper or 2018 J mains paper and try to solve that same paper and in the timed manner to see how much marks you're getting. After every test, make sure you analyze what went wrong, what could have been done better, oh, how to solve this question in a limited amount of time. Some papers are going to be very easy, some papers are going to be very difficult. So you need to accordingly adapt to the difficulty, the pattern and the type of questions. So this practice of mock tests in the final days is very important and I would say practice at least three to four mock tests on a weekly basis. Having done this, you need to obviously solve lots and lots of assignments which are given to you and the way you solve the assignments is by looking at lectures. So usually there are these classes or revision sessions or even crash courses where they conduct a lecture, lecture and they give you an assignment based on that particular class. The reason why I'm asking you to attend classes even in the final days is because it saves a lot of your self-study time. If you would have taken one hour to solve 10 problems, you might learn new ways, new techniques to solve more problems in that same amount of time. And when you see somebody doing it, you get that confidence and you get to know the competitive spirit and you learn a lot from others as well. So make sure you're a part of some kind of revision or a crash course or some kind of mock test series where discussions are happening and you have some kind of interaction. So that will also keep your mind active in the final days. Now, if you want all of this, I'm going to give you all the assignments. I'm going to give you 20 mock tests along with the lectures, along with my notes, along with the PDF solutions and the handwritten part of all the lectures and the recordings, everything in the J means crash course for all the students. Even if you're a part of coaching, this crash course will help you improve your all India ranks. Even if you are at let's say 10,000 or 30,000 rank, this crash course will help you boost up your performance in the final days by seeing newer variety of questions, by seeing newer type of mock tests, by seeing newer kinds of analysis from the test series which is going to be conducted. So all of this is also going to come with tips, strategy, guidance session and lots and lots of strategies before the exam. So all of this in the JE crash course, the crash course is available for a very discounted rate using my coupon code SHHPRO. The link is there in the description box below. Thank you for watching guys. I hope this video was very helpful to all the JE aspirants. Make sure you follow all the sure sure topics and all the pointers that I gave you that you must do in the last final days of your JE preparation. All the best. Take care. Asta la vista. This was Captain Strias.